Sirach chapter 32 and verse 23. And every good work, trust thy own soul. For this is the keeping of the commandments. He that believeth in the Lord, Yahweh Shah, taketh heed to the commandment. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. Call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who teach and rule well. Peace and blessings and salutation to the whole for light and the one third scattered abroad. Barakata to the Akim out there pushing his word with truth and in sincerity. All right, this is the brother Kasai Gadal coming to you with another quick hit out of the province of Babylon camp here in Tampa, Florida. All right, and the title of this video will be Trust in Yahweh by Shimei Awashah. Trust in Yahweh by Shimei Awashah. Sirach chapter 32 and verse 23. And every good work trust thy own soul for this is the keeping of the commandments how are you going to trust in your own soul we are all one body of Yahweh we all have a part of Yahweh in the spirit so if you trust in your soul you trust in your soul not your flesh in your soul for this is the keeping of the commandments so if you're going to trust in Yahweh and you're going to trust in your soul you're going to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. Now, yes, it's 613 commandments. You're not going to be able to keep all of them, but you keep the ones that you can. All right? Read on. He that believeth in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, taketh heed to the commandments. So if you believe in Yahweh Shai, you're going to take heed to the commandments. And how do you take heed to the commandments? By doing them to the best of your ability. By practicing the righteous acts. By keeping your high holy days. You know, by making sure you fast to afflict your soul, by making sure you praying, you know, by offending less. Sirach, you know, 7 and 25, return unto the Lord. Make thy prayer upon thy face, you know, and offend less, roughly paraphrasing, you know. Then it says, and he that trusted in him shall fare never the worse. And that word fair means to go, to pass. So you're going to go where? You're going you gonna to be joint hairs with Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. All right. I was watching a video earlier, early this morning, as soon as I woke up. And one of the elders, GMS in Rome, you know, Shalom Baraka thought to that brother. He did a video on fear. And fear is, and it was a clip. All right. It was a clip from a movie that uh, the actor uh, Will Smith and his son you know, I don't I don't know what the movie is called. I think it was called After Earth or something like that or, or 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 something. I don't I don't remember. Just a quick testimony. And fear is what you fear is 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 is, is what you is what you uh put your mind to, man. So for an example, if if you have a dog and this dog is is barking and and and, and, and acting like he wanna jump the gate on you. And you fear what he could possibly do. You fear that dog. You fear that dog. So it's the same way with Yahweh by Shimei Arashah. You should fear Yahweh by Shimei Arashah and what he could possibly do to you for not keeping his commandments and trusting in him. If you fear Yahweh by Shimei Arashah, you're going to be able to gain those spiritual powers. You're going to be able to gain that everlasting salvation. But you have to do what? You have to trust in the Lord, man. You have to trust in the Lord. If you don't trust in your house by Shimei Arashah, then who are you trusting in? Who are you putting your trust in? These damn devils? Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Proverbs 1 and 31, man. 7 and 31. So like you. You see? But you can't, you can't be sitting up here, man, and putting your fear in these damn devils. They got y'all walking around with mask on. That's because you fear them. You fear what they're going to do. But if you fear and trust the Yahweh by Shema Rasha, you won't have to do none of that, man. Why? Because your fear and your trust is in who? Your power. It's in your power. Naom, chapter 1 and verse 7. The Lord, Yahweh by Shema Rasha, is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. 
he is a stronghold in a day of trouble. So any, any, when you're going through things, or even in that time of trouble, Yahweh Shema Shai knows who trusts in him. Yahweh Shema Shai knows who, who believes in him, who got their fear in him. You see? And in that time of trouble, he is a stronghold. And what is a stronghold? That's like a pillar, man. You see? Something that you can lean on. Something that you can trust in. When you go on top of your house and you use a ladder and you all the way up top and you got somebody down at the bottom holding it while you standing on the top top tier of the uh, of the damn ladder, that's your stronghold. You trusting in him. You trusting in him to make sure that that ladder don't shift, don't move, or don't fall so you don't fall. It's the same way, brothers. And even you few sisters out there listening in, it's the same way. If you trust in Yahweh Shem Shah, he is your stronghold. It says the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. So Yahweh Shem Shah already knows who trusts in him. He knows your heart, man. You can't half ass say that you trust in Yahweh Shem Shah, but as soon as that, that time of trouble come, you you fearing, you, you running around like a chicken with your head cut off. You, you know. You all over the place, man. You don't trust in the Lord, man. You don't trust in the Lord. Just a quick, just a quick testimony, man. I ain't been going to the grocery store, man. But guess what? I've been trusting in the Lord, man. Why? Because this inflation is crazy out here. You think I'm going to go pay $12 for a pack of damn chicken? Nah, man. But guess what? Scripture say my servant shall eat, man. I've been trusting in Yahweh Shem Shah, man. Just getting by, man. So you have Hashem Shah knows who trusteth in you, man. Knows who trusteth in him, Salah. So if you don't have your fear, if you don't have your mind in the right, in the right, in the right state, but you're gonna be, you, you, you're not gonna have a stronghold, man. You're gonna trust in these damn devils, and these damn devils are gonna get you fucked up out here, man. You see? Jeremiah 17 and verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord Yahweh Shah. And whose hope the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is, man. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. How are you going to be blessed? You're going to be blessed with that crown of life, man. You're going to be blessed in that crown of life. We ain't worried about him, man. People walk around, want to talk about, oh, I'm truly blessed. Man, you ain't fucking blessed. What are you blessed with? What are you blessed with? Because you got a nice little car that you could drive? You got a lot of house that you can you 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 live in. That ain't blessed, man. Blessed is knowing the truth. Blessed is praising Yahweh by Shem Shah. Blessed is getting that everlasting salvation. Blessed is being joint hairs with our power. Blessed is ruling in righteousness. Blessed is having the Lord, having the Lord chastise you. That's blessed, man. For me, I don't know about you, but for me, that's blessed, man. Micah 2 and 10, rise ye and depart, man. It is polluted. This place is polluted, man. You're not blessed here. Brothers and sisters, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You are not blessed here. It ain't shit here for us, man. And whose hope the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, is. You got to, listen, man. You, you have to hope Yahweh Shem Shah is, 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 is dealing with you, man. You better hope you have Hashem Shah is dealing with you, man. Because if you if he's not, bro, you think that you blessed over here in Esau Kingdom, all them so-called blessings gonna be destroyed away with, man. Blessed is when you is when you is when you you got spiritual powers, man. When you able to travel through dimensions, that's being blessed, man. Ruling in righteousness, that's being blessed. That's being blessed. You ain't blessed here, man. At all. Blessed is the man that feared. Blessed is the man that trusts in, in Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. Book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah, with all thy heart. That heart goes into what? Thy mind, man, that soul. Trust in the Lord with all thy soul, man. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Lean not 
unto thy own understanding. That own understanding of what, man? Not just these precepts, but that own understanding of life. You can't just think that you're going to get through life without Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. He controls everything, man. He controls your thoughts. For your thoughts are not your thoughts. For our ways are not his ways. His ways are much higher than our ways. Roughly paraphrasing. He controls your every movement. He controls these damn demons that's out here amping up on people, man. I just seen a video that one of the brothers posted. You got Jake fighting against Jake. Jake get mad because he get beat up. He gets up and he does what? He shoots the man. Does the man die? I don't know. But he shot the man three times, man, in the back. In the back, man. Y'all about Shimon shot ordain these things, man. It's these demons that's out here amping up, man. All things must be done decently and in order. If Jake was out here praising how about Shimei Shah, he wouldn't have to worry about none of that. But why he don't fear him? He feared this damn kingdom of Esau's, man. Lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. In all thy ways acknowledge who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And he shall direct thy paths. He going to direct you unto the right way, man. The right way. Those brothers that I was just speaking of, they wasn't, they wasn't, they, they, they wasn't acknowledging Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So guess where they paths went? Down for destruction. Now somebody got Jake on the damn camera shooting this man. They probably already know who he is. You see? They probably already know who he is because they fighting. You see? Jake over there laid down. Somebody got to call the ambulance. This man probably going to be paralyzed from the waist down for the rest of their life and have to be in a wheelchair. But in the video, the whole time, he's screaming, I'm a grown-ass man. If you're a grown-ass man, you'll be out here praising Yahweh by Shimei Shah and acknowledging him. And he shall direct thy ways. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shah and depart from evil. When you fear you have by Shimon Shah, man, you're going to depart from evil. And that evil is what, man? All these evil, wicked ass ways. These ways of these heathens, man. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Learn not the way of the heathen. All right? So if you fear Yahweh by Shimon Shah, if you trust in Yahweh by Shimon Shah, you are going to acknowledge him. You are going to. Not lean unto your own understanding. You are going to put all of your trust, all of your, just like you will go out here and you will trust in this damn devil to, 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 to give you 40 hours a week so that you can work and go home or 50 hours a week, you know, so you can work and then go home and, and, and be able to, 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 to buy you a house or make sure your, your bills paid at your, at your estate or keep your car payment up. If you're going to put your trust in these devils or even or even to trust in these devils to wear a mask on your face, you should put all that emphasis in trusting your how by Shimon Rashad that he going to get us up out of here, man. That he going to direct your paths and put you around people that's 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 of wise men, man. Put you around people that already departed from evil. You going to trust in your how by Shimon Rashad or you going to trust in these devils, man. You choose, because time is running out, man. And I advise you to pick the right damn, the, the, to pick the right damn answer and to trust in your help by Shimei Abishai. Especially you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Psalm 64 and verse 10. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, you by Shimei Abishai. And shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And shall trust in him. That righteous, that's what we're doing. We are practicing the righteous acts. We are practicing to be righteous men. We are growing up to be men. Before you came in this truth, man, you was a child. 
Before you heard this truth, before you learned this truth, before you started speaking this truth, you were a child. Now that you have grown in this truth, you are becoming a man. You are building yourself up in character. So you are being righteously. You are acting righteously. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him. And shall trust in him. You got to put all your trust in him. I bet if you get in your car and you see you on E, I bet you trust in your car to get you to work. So trust in Yahweh by Shem Shah, just as you would trust in all of these wicked ass doings in this world. All of these other evil ass ways. You trust in Jake Lord. Jake would sit up there and, 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 and think that rolling the damn rolling the damn uh joint or whatever. I bet he gonna trust in that joint to damn do what? To ease his pain away. When instead, he should be praying on the Lord, praying to Yahweh by Shem Shah, and trusting him to ease that pain away. Psalms 55 and 22, cast our burden upon the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Shah, and he, and he trust, uh, Salakia, Salakia. Cast our burdens upon the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shah, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Why? Because you trusting in the Lord. When you cast out burden, you casting all of your troubles unto the Lord, man. Anything that's a burden unto you, you're going to give it unto the Lord, man. And when you give it unto the Lord, what are you, what are you doing? You trusting in him. You trusting in him to remove that burden off of you. You trusting in him to get by. You see? You trusting in him that things that 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 that, that uh whatever that burden is. It's going to get fixed, man. And all that upright in heart and their mind shall glory. So if you trusting in the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah, you moving righteously, you acting righteously, you fearing Yahweh by Shema Shah, you are going to be glorified in the soul, man. That glorification is going to come when all of, the, all of your works are done. Scripture say, roughly paraphrasing, I know thy works. Yahweh by Shema Shah knows thy works, man. He knows what you're doing. He knows your heart, your soul, your mind. He knows that. So you can't half-ass say you trust in the Lord, man. You either going to trust in the Lord or you're going to trust in these damn devils. Either you're going to fear the Lord or you're going to fear these damn devils. And if you're on the left-hand side, your ass is going to be destroyed, man. So with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutation to the hopeful elect and the one-third scattered abroad. Hopefully this video was edifying to you. If it was edifying to you, then it was edifying to the elect. Until next time I say, call me Yesharela. Peace, Israel. Shalom.